Ooh, the space bar is nice. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm excited to do this on boy. All right, I actually am curious what the hell mode put inside this thing that they told me to open it on stream with you guys. Because I literally don't know, do you guys have any guesses? So this is for a streamer. This is not my build, just FYI. This is for energy Aussie antics, but they also said they put something in here for me in this case. I mean, I don't think it's another keyboard inside here. The camera's having a rough time on the texture. Yeah, the downscaling's not liking it. I don't immediately see anything. Lattice mounts or lettuce mounts, as you guys like to say. We got some feet. So this is an Envoy in white with silver accents, which we'll put on later. Pretty nice. I mean, this is kind of thick. Oh my God, bro, I see what they fucking did. Guys, I'm gonna start putting these in client builds. I actually don't want them. Dude, look how many things they put inside here. You remember I was complaining I didn't want any more? Oh my God, there's so fucking many, dude. Bro, what am I supposed to do with all these? My space is limited here, bro. Oh my. Mode gave me all these and not a single pair of tweezers. Let that be known. I would have appreciated some tweezers. You should complain that you get way too many envoys and see what happens next mode stream. Yeah, just a big box of, big crate of envoys. So basically all I'm doing guys is I'm sticking these really, really small sockets. Actually, I kind of prefer these over um, hot swap sockets, the Milmax. We're sticking these in every single switch pin area where we'd normally find them. So you guys can kind of see it right there. And then we're gonna solder them into place. Forgive my lack of knowledge, what does Milmaxing accomplish? Basically, this is a solderable PCB, right? We'll zoom in a little bit. We're gonna put these sockets inside. These sockets will allow us to make a hot swappable keyboard out of a solderable only PCB. And you don't need a lot of solder when you're doing this either, guys. In fact, I would say less is more here. You can always add more. It's not gonna hurt you to go back and add stuff, but it will hurt you if you have too much. So then this is what it should like, uh, look like. Pyramids around it, and that's all. If you're looking for a thocky build, don't tape and foam counteract. No, you should be fine with either or, but I don't think thockiness is a, a byproduct of either or. But a lot of people think that sticking foam in makes things automatically deeper when I don't think that's the truth. I think it lessens some of the higher frequency, but it doesn't like immediately change or alter a keyboard. PE foam does to a certain degree. Milmax sockets are these silver shoes. Let's call them shoes. They're these guys. And we're gonna grab our plate. Best job uh, right now, my friend owns the company. I deliver pharma to retirement or old homes, work less than 35 hours. That's pretty damn good. The highest paying job I ever had was working like as a random tech guy. I did whatever tech tasks they asked. And I think that netted me around like, I don't know how much that would be weekly, it was salary but it was like 50K Canadian a year, which I don't know how much that is US. It's not much US. That was fun. I like I like doing that kind of stuff. Random tech tasks. All right, let's start assembling our keyboard now. This is all done. Very easy to assemble this part, by the way. Very, very easy. Once that's just in, we just slot this into place. And now we flip it over and screw it in. Uh, I'll probably buy a white Envoy when they move in, in stock like this on it. I think a lot of people will probably do the same thing. Oh, there's no screw here? All right, that's pretty. All right, now we can do this next part. Here we are, white and silver combo. Pretty nice. I'm liking it. White and silver is like very neutral. Modes foam is like... I don't know if you guys can see this little piece right over here of foam. The foam kind of flies everywhere as you lay it in. And they need to just trim off these pieces. The lettuce mount, definitely more bouncy than O-ring. Even the softest O-ring I feel can't get like this bouncy. It has a lot of movement to it, which is awesome, which makes a really comfy typing experience. We're using Klein's Blue. Little bit of Klein's blue today. Can't wait to get my Envoy. I hope this one sounds nice. I think this is gonna be a nice combination of things too. For colors. No accent, I think. This is gonna be straight blue. 
no accent colors. Here's how the accents look. If you guys wanna see what it looks like with accent keys. I don't know, I kinda like it all blue better, but yeah, all blue, right? It's not just me. Do a poll for the accents? No, we're gonna do the accents. Looks nice with the silver. Sil look at look at that, dude. That's actually so interesting to look from this angle. It almost looks cell shaded. This does not look real. Look at this. This looks like it's been rendered in a video game. That's so cool. I'm like just drawn to it. Let it cook. Oh my god, not this again, dude. Def let it cook, Alex. Ooh, this sounds nice. All right, let's see what this sounds like. We're using Gidron Pro Speed Silvers. Uh, carbon fiber plate, mid plate foam. And then uh, that's really it. We're using the lattice mounts or lettuce mounts as you guys prefer. And let's see what this guy sounds like. Ooh, the spacebar is nice. Actually, these switches are really nice for this. Hold on, do you guys like this more or the Envoy that I've been using? One's long pull switch, one isn't. I don't know, they are very, very different. I, here, here's the weird thing. I think I'm a little bored of long pull switches to where I, I kind of like, this one. Dude, I really hope they like this board, man. This, this is awesome. I'm really hoping they end up really liking this. Isn't Speed Silver just short travel but not longer stem? Yeah, short, shorter travel distance, 3.4 millimeters. Just mid plate foam. The only reason I wanted to do that is because I uh, wanted to just, there's a little bit of metallic resonance with the long pulls. Slight, it's like minor. It does not bother me none, but for some people it might. There's the butts of both of them. So this one here is carbon fiber and Gatoron Speed Silvers inside. Uh, the Speed Silvers have been lubed. I did notice some stock lube on them, but it was very minor and super inconsistent. Um, mid plate foam on this guy. This is alu plate, obscura switches, no foam whatsoever. Both using lattice mounts, by the way. So now here are three envoys. Ah, uh, the dandy. So this envoy, okay, I also think the PC case is the weakest, which I think was the most ordered. Um, but this Envoy also has long pull st uh, switches inside, which are these ones here again. I don't remember which switches we put inside. Oh, the new Owl Labs London Fog switches. And this has the copper plate too, which is what you're kind of hearing. That copper plate. Very different compared to something like this. Blue and white is so good. Yeah. They turned out, dude, all of these turned out amazing. All these envoys turned out amazing. I hope the client ends up really liking this one here, but both turned out awesome. Does the envoy come with foam or is it separate? I believe it's a separate purchase. I don't think it comes with it. Good after, good evening. I don't know if it's night technically. Bye everyone and enjoy the rest of your evenings. Bye, bye, bye. Ooh, the space bar's nice.